I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. For this exercise, I want to force myself to make quick decisions. I like to play online, and if you're not fast enough, the game will toss the tile for you. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. I have my smartphone here with a stopwatch app. You could use a regular stopwatch if you want. The goal here is to do three sprints. So laps one, three, and five will be the sprints. Laps two and four will be set up. My goal is to make decisions in under two minutes. Let's see which seat we're in for the first sprint. I rolled an eight, so we're gonna be player four. Non-dealer, I'll get 13 tiles and create a mock Charleston with no jokers. Two, four, six, eight. That's the category we're going to play. Maybe even a pair hand. Let's discard those. We'd have to throw away a joker. We got an eight. And a four. One tile to pass. We have to pick a hand. Two, four, six, eight in one suit. Two, four, six, eight, one suit. There are two, three options. Two with flowers. Eights, four. Let's give up the four and the eight. Let's go with one suit. Cracks. We got a red. There is a no, yep, there's one hand that uses the matching dragon. Let's pass these three. No keepers, tiles pass. Flower, three tiles pass. Still don't have to pick a hand. We have a three. There's some consecutive run there, but we'd have to throw away a pair of eights. No keepers, optional cross. Okay, two, four, six, eight. There are two hands we could play here. The first one, three flowers, pair of twos, pair of fours, pung of six, kong of eight. So we could use that in there. We have three discards for sure, but we may or may not need this red. If we played the hand with the dragon, we'd have to throw away a pair of flowers. So I probably would discard those and play the first hand and actually pick a hand right now because we have no gaps and a joker. We could pung, we just need a two crack there. We could kong or pung. All we need here is a six crack and an eight crack and this hand will be set. So that's the way I would do that. If you would have done something differently here, write sprint one in the comment section below and if you would have played another hand, let me know which one. Just write the category and the number in order under the category. So we're going to go on to sprint two now. I forgot to roll for our seat. I rolled a seven. That would be player three, West. So we're non-dealer.
Okay, we could do either little odds or an addition hand here. Since we have three flowers, let's consider addition five, eight, one, three in one suit. That's kind of light. One, three, five. There's a one, three, five with a Kong of Dragons. Let's pass these. We're in between like numbers and addition. We got a five and a seven. Green to pass. Let's see, like, uh, let's see, one, three, five, seven. Let's give up that. I think we could focus on little odds. We have no one, three in dots. We have tiles we can pass here. Keep the three for little odds. We don't have to pick a hand until we run out of discards. So I'd give up the three so as not to pass a white dragon. Oh, wait a minute. Let's keep that red, maybe. Let's break up the five. There's a red. And we have tiles we can pass. The one dot came in. No keepers. No keepers, optional cross. Four discards for little odds. This would be probably the third hand down. We don't need the dragon. The dragon would be in a mixed suit option. So unless we get one, three, like we would need one, three, three, five in bams and cracks or bams and dots, but we'd have to throw away the flowers. So I would use this as joker bait and play one, three, five, third hand down. Now, one thing that we could maybe do instead is see if we could use these with consecutive run with a two crack or a four crack. I would hold that as long as possible and see if we could use it. If you would have done something differently with Sprint 2, write that in the comment section below. So we're the dealer. We get 14 tiles this time. Okay, multiples, west and six. Maybe we could play east and west with sixes. East and west with sixes would be winds and dragons number five. We have no flowers though. Three, six, maybe three, six, nine. Let's build around sixes. Three, six, nine. So let's pass these three. Three, six, nine or winds and dragons. There's an east. And a red, winds and dragons. Let's pass these three. Whoops. We got a north building up winds and dragons. We have to pick something. Let's give up on ooh, 3669. We have to make a choice. Let's give up a dragon. News with dragons. News with dragons. Non, uh, north and south or east and west with dragons. Let's give up on 369. We got a three. <laughs> oh, let's give up the three and break that up. West, nine, three, five. East, tiles to pass, dragon. Let's give up 
let's see, north, six, east and west with dragons. No keepers. Oh, we got the six. That's a bummer. But east and west with dragons is good. We have no gaps. Lap. Okay, east and west with dragons. And we have joker bait. East and west with dragons. So that would be pair, pair, no, Kong, Kong, pairs. We don't need a flower. I was thinking east and west with sixes for a while, which requires a flower. So we have three discards with joker bait. That's not bad. That was a challenge though, because we were straddling between two hands, east and west with sixes or east and west with dragons, but we were missing the bams, which kind of trickled in. The sixes trickled in and out. I think that would have worked as well as the dragons, but I try not to pass dragons. If I can use them, I'll work around them. If you would have done something differently here, write it in the comment section below. Just put sprint three and what you would have done. Let's look and see how things went with the time. If you pick a category instead of picking a hand, you can make really quick decisions because all you have to do is gather tiles for the category. Don't even worry about which hand you're playing. Don't even worry about what tiles you get. Just gather. Gather all the tiles for your chosen category and discard tiles that don't fit. When you run out of discards, then go deep and pick a hand or whittle down to a few hands depending on what tiles you get. Let's see if I was able to average two minutes. Sprint one, one minute 32. Sprint two, one minute 51. Sprint three, two minutes, 15 seconds. So it, let's see here, 15 over, and I was 30 under for the first sprint. So I made it under two minutes as an average, and that's the goal. If you have a set at home, give this exercise a try and let me know if it helps you make quicker decisions and play by category. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do. That way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that might give you an advantage at the table between now and the next Charleston Sprints for American Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. May all your picks be keepers.